fine. Oh, there it is. Hello. I hope my sound is good with my voice because it just hit a little glitch. Good afternoon, everybody. Okay, so today we're doing the teddy bear card. This, this was a practice one for me to see if it worked and how I should best do it. And I'm glad I did it because I'm making it so much better now. So I didn't do the front of the card, but that's the inside. Has a teddy bear, but it's not finished. That one's not. This one is finished. My um, assistant Janet made this one and she embossed it. Says, I love you this much look how cute that is look look at the embossing doesn't that make it fun so i'm doing the teddy bear and i i wanted to shade it and because i got these markers and they're awesome markers and i tell you guys to buy the markers well i have to continue to show you how to use them and it's really easy okay this uh, so I did half of it ahead of time. So there's that. And then this is this. His little nose. Isn't it cute? I think he's cute. And I did his foot or leg. So like first I did this one. I didn't really like his legs. Like you can't see. It's, it's just kind of plain. So then I thought, well, I'll do one like that and color it like that. Isn't that much cuter? Much cuter than this one? And I also want to show you the difference um, in his eyes and nose. I filled in his eyes and nose uh, with, I had the Cricut fill it in. If you want to learn how to fill that in, you will want to watch my last video I'll add that into the cards or description later because I forgot about that video. I actually show you how to create a teddy bear from looking at pictures out of free shapes. This entire card is free to use. I made the teddy bear out of free shapes. For all of you awesome people who support my channel on Patreon, on Facebook, and on YouTube membership, you get the file and it's all free shapes. So I, I can't see what you guys see there. That's his face and eyes are done with a 0.4 pen, Cricut pen. And this one was done with the one uh, 0.1 pen. So that is totally solid black. So I didn't have to worry about little pieces um, coloring in. So oh, let me see your chat. Good afternoon, we're on Facebook and YouTube. The chat you see on the screen is on YouTube. What is the difference between Arteza markers and Copic markers? Actually, I think our tease up markers are easier to use and easier to blend, and they're like one quarter the price. You can get, like for $60, you get all the, the Arteza markers, and Copic markers are like $7.95 each. Um, I have used Copics before, and I wasn't very good at it. These are easier. Me, I'm not a professional either. I don't claim to be a professional, not a professional colorist at all. So maybe the Copics are better for professionals. I'm just a crafter. Hi, Joan. Okay, let's get over and start. I think I showed you everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I did this part of a card already. Where I just did the inside. If you haven't seen how I do that, I did it in this card. So last week, I did, was it Tuesday or Thursday? I don't know. I did this one. 
So the mechanism under here is the same for the teddy bear. So I'm going to finish coloring the teddy bear. And then after it dried and I was doing it, I added another color in too. So I'm using Sienna Brown. It's the A2494. That's the blender. And then yellow okra. I'm using jasmine yellow for his inside his ears and his paws. I color, I just colored in some little paw marks. And I did here too. I just did that freehand. Really, I looked up the pears on Google and looked at their paws. And I just looked at the picture and did it how theirs were. And then I also colored this in around the edges. Okay, what am I? See, I did this different. I'm trying to do it like I did the others. I'm going around the edge first. And then I just go with little lines. Always pointing like to the center. I'm going to try this again. And I'm just going with little lines. I'm going to pick him up so it's easier to color the edge. Please put your questions in all caps. Well, I'm going to put some lines on with the darker one. I'm going to do longer lines. I'm doing little lines because I think he looks thin furry. I think. And then I'm going to use the blender. This is clear. And it helps blend it out. So I'm just going to go out this way. And it, it looks like I'm doing a lot because it's wet. I'm using Cricut paper, and I have found this Cricut paper colors really well with the um, alcohol markers. I was very surprised to see that. And I I think I might, well, I'm going to wait. I don't know. I kind of want to go make his neck. I'm gonna color this in darker and go around his arm. And then like this hand, I'm gonna go around here and kind of make his hand. You know, cause bears have hands. <laughs> And of course, you don't have to use these colors. That's why I wanted to show you the other bear done in a different color. It's the same bear. So I'm just gonna do little lines. And I'm gonna put his little paw here. So I can kind of see where to go. There. And I can just do some lines. Always kind of going towards the middle. And if you can't color very well, you can do this because they don't have to be perfect. Remember, I don't do perfect. 
or anything. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to yellow okra. And I'm just gonna add more lines. I'm going over the dark and just dragging it through. color in a little bit going around the base of the lines and then I'm going to go with the clear blender and I'm just kind of scribbling in a circle now remember how we went around there? I think I'm gonna add a little bit more up here. You can put as many layers as you want. So I'm going with the darker color, then the middle color. And then the blender just at the end, just scribbling. And I'm going to blend this one some more. Make sure I can. Yeah, doesn't he look fuzzy? I think he looks more 3D this way. He looks more cuddly this way, doesn't he? Thanks for subscribing. And we're going to go around. I'm going to go on his arms more. I'm going to make lines for his arms. need to do the whole thing because I'm going to put um, legs on him. I'm not doing the legs until after he's put together. So I'm going to do this bottom. I'm going to pull this up more. So if you can make short little lines that go towards the center, you can do this.
Okay, we got his other foot. So his his little legs and feet, I have a pen going around there. So I'm just gonna copy that pen, that line around here and then color the outside. Two little lines going towards the center of the circle. Boy, Kobe's really getting loud with his snoring. My dog. And he has to sleep right next to me. This is the blender. So I'm going to do the outside of the leg. So I'm going to do it um, deeper on the sides than at the top. So it looks more like his leg is a cylinder. So the lines were a little longer down here, and as I went up, they got shorter, so it looks more like a cylinder. And I'm taking the yellow okra. Is that what that is? Yeah. I'm kind of just coloring that in. And I'm going to blend it. Do a little more on this one. When I first colored these, I wasn't using yellow okra, I was only using one color. And I thought, I'm gonna try to do another color. I think I'm gonna. This is just the yellow okra. I'm gonna. Do a little face, his head. And go down. And up. And I'll do the dark one too. And I'm just gonna kind of do a little zigzag line. Okay. Um, let's do, that's his paw. I'm using jasmine yellow on his paws. So I'm going to go around the outside.
I just colored around the edge and then I'm just doing little lines. Pointing toward, towards the center. Then that's going to go there and I'm going to match this side and put it on the other side. You see his little paws? So. Gosh, Kobe, maybe you should wake up. I have no idea if this is correct for a bear or not. I'm just going with it. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to use the yellow okra. This was the lightest for the brown. I'm going to go on the outside edge. I did use a little bit of this on his nose. And I'm just going to color just a little bit on the outside edge. around this again. I'm going to outline these. I don't know once it dries if you'll actually see it. I think it'll do just a teeny bit. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm using art glitter glue. I use these in all my projects. I'm going to go ahead and glue his paw on. Get that done. Okay, now we got to make his paw down here. Turn on the glue. So, which color is this? Jasmine yellow. Over on the outside. This is the lighter of the colors I'm using. And all this paper I'm using is from Cricut. That's all I use. When you guys see all that paper behind me, Everything in all of those racks is Cricut. It's all paper, um, poster board. Okay, now let me look at this one. Try to match that one a little. Okay, matching things is not my thing because I just usually wing it. See, I'm just making ovals here. And I'm going to use the darker yellow, yellow okra, and go around the edge here. I don't know if I actually did on that one. But when we're done, I'm going to show you this teddy bear and then the one that has absolutely no coloring. Let's glue this down. We don't want to lose it. No pup cam today. Okay, I'll try to talk louder. Can you hear me better now? You guys can always tell me you need me to talk louder. 
I'm gonna be ordering some a new mic. Okay, let's put this on. Now, when I put this one on, I put it on with him flat. And you can see a little wrinkle there from when I folded it. Maybe I should have waited till the glue was dry before I folded it. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do, and I have not put a score line in here. I was going to, but then I thought, well, I'll just fold it. And I'm gonna fold him. He gets folded in half because he has to open up in the card. He has to be closed in the card, so he has to be folded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him right on the crease. I'm gonna glue this right underneath his eyes. And I think I'm gonna shade around this a little bit too. I'm gonna wait till I have him on there so I know where to shade. So I'm only gonna glue half of this on first. We're gonna see if that works better. I don't know. We'll find out. If it does, do it this way. If it doesn't, don't. <laughs> so I'm gluing that on there, and then I'm going to make sure it's right on the crease. Fold that down, and then glue that right on top of it that way. That will work. This glue dries clear. I'm gonna see if this pen has a little white dots in his eyes. Like his eyes are shining. I need to let that dry. No, I can't do it. Um, oh. We need to color his heart. So I cut this heart out of the wrong paper. So I practiced coloring this one. So I'm going to... Wait, that one's too dark. We're going to do this one just on the outline. This is his belly. But I want to put his legs on first, I think. I think. We'll see. I'm going to have to fold this, too. So I'm coloring just the outside edge, like just a teen, well, not the absolute outside, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it down a little and do little lines. So I'm doing lines and always pointing them towards the center. And this is the blender. So I'm just coloring around the edge of the colored lines to blend it a little. Oh wait, this is the dark one.
And sometimes coloring takes a little practice. If you can't get it the first time, well, okay, don't expect to get it the first time. You could cut out shapes, hearts, circles, squares, triangles, whatever you want, and just practice coloring them. Then with the clear one. Uh, Callie, can you put a link to Arteza in the video? It is? Uh -huh. They're saying they can't find it. I didn't think I saw it either. Look under materials in the video for the link to Arteza. Okay. So we're not going to put his legs on until he's in the card. And... I kind of like his, well, I don't know. I kind of like the heart a little sideways, but maybe I'll do it this way. I think I'm gonna put the heart on after he's in. Now, do you see the difference? These teddy bears are done out of the same paper. do this piece and for those who support my channel you have all the directions on how to put this together also with the file this in. I'm going to make sure this fits. Yes, it does. Then we're going to put glue on this side and close that down. And then this takes a minute to dry. Um, Rachel, you can get hundreds of my design space files for only $2 a month and you can cancel. So you don't have to continue to do it. Uh, you can join as a YouTube membership that's $4.99 or Facebook is also $4.99 but for $2 you get hundreds of my files and my files are all Cricut design space files so the base of all these cards are completely free but like on this one I use daisies from design space and they're included in access so if you have access you won't be charged the teddy bear 
is completely free. Got to make sure that's dry. So you get all the projects I have been sharing since October of 2013. So I've been doing this almost six years through Patreon. Make sure that's dry. Oh, I can put the other front of the card on. So I did this heart. Um, I just went around the edges with Watermelon pink, just like I did everything else. I'm going to stick that up there. And I have, where's my I miss you? I'm not sure. I made this. So I made it so you don't have to worry about the little pieces cut out. And you could put this right on here. Or I made this piece so you could stick that on there and have a different color through it if you want that. And I think I'm just gonna glue this on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the green piece. Adds a little color. And you could stick that on here. It would kind of be cute popped up but with the inside it might be a thicker card so I'm just gonna stick this on oh I didn't glue this one So this is going to say, I love you, or I made one that says, I miss you. Okay. Now, I'm going to try this. I'm only going to do one side. Before I glued everything on here, and I'm going to try just gluing his hands. we got to line up the holes. There are holes right here, so we can put the words to stand out through that. he folds here and then I'm going to glue this hand trying something new by just gluing his hands do the back side it should fit perfectly I got to put the words together so there's that. Let's put his legs on. Now you could stick his legs like behind here and he'll kind of look like he's more standing, but I want to put them up here to look a little bit like he's sitting. I don't know why. That's just what I want to do. So there's the teddy bear like that. Now he has to say this much. So that goes on here and each letter cuts out separately. So we're going to glue these on and I want to make sure I have them to fit this perfectly. So I'm going to lay them on here first. So I know which way to put the glue on because, as you guys know, many, many times I put the glue on the wrong side. I think it's 
it's this way. See, I can't decide how to go. And where's the tape? It's on the floor. This might be the hardest part. Okay, you guys, I'm giving away a Cricut Maker and one year of Cricut Access on Instagram. You can follow my Instagram at MelodyLane815. I'm also doing a giveaway in my Design Space group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. If you place a Cricut order, and post it in the sales post. You'll have to read that post to see how to do it. It's in the pinned, or not the pinned, but the announcements of the group. I'm gonna pay for somebody's Cricut order. Well, you have to pay for it, and then I'm gonna pay you back through PayPal. Okay, I'm gonna fold this in half. Okay, so now we have to get this in here, and I've shown my supporters how to do that. It's not hard at all, and you don't even have to glue it. says I love you or it can say I miss you or we can change what this says also you can oh we were thinking this would be good for a baby shower and say it's a girl or it's a boy or congratulations so here's this one oh I forgot his belly So as I did the other things, I'm going to do one side at a time and then fold it. I'll put that in there. I'll fold it and then put glue down. The other way and fold that down. And that glue dries clear. So which one do you like better? The one on the left or the one on the right? Although I didn't finish him by putting the words in. And he's done with the same color paper. Isn't he cute? Okay, and then this one's really cute too. This one is embossed and done with different colors. And of 
course you can change the front of this, you can do whatever you want, but everything in this card is made with a free shape. Everything. Yeah, isn't that cute? I love this. I love these pop-out cards. Here's the owl one. I colored this with the same markers. Okay, not the same colors, but same Arteza markers. And that says happy birthday. I'm gonna make one that has cupcakes on it too. It says happy birthday. And then there's this one. This one I colored the inside of the daisies with yellow. And although you can't really tell, if you look at this one that I did not color, this one looks better. It's done with the same color paper. I'll show you the front. You see how I colored this, this one on the right, but I didn't color those. I did color the stems because I was practicing before I did this. I forgot. I did color the stems. Oh, then here's the chicky one. Happy Easter. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. Oh, you guys. I forgot the ear. It's not missing. I just forgot to color it. Let me color it real fast because I want to, I did a darker color, the yellow okra in the bottom of the ear more. You guys can't see this real well, but I totally forgot this ear. So the darker yellow, I colored like that. And then the jasmine yellow. I'm gonna go around the edge. I can't believe I couldn't even see that. Okay. So we're going to glue him on. Oh, and then I didn't color the under the ear either. <laughs> there we go. All right, let me try to finish coloring him. I can't believe I did that. It's much harder to color him after he's already on the card. Just a warning. And the blender. That's wrong one. These have two different tips. Okay. There we go. He's got his ear now. I don't know why I couldn't see that. If you use my link to order the products, it really helps me out, helps support my channel so I can keep doing more and showing you how to new, do oh. new stuff. The markers are really easy to use. And remember, you get hundreds of my design space files. Now, my design space space files my projects are different than what most people sell or what they have for memberships mine are design space links where all you do is click the link and click make it unless you want to change it you only have to click the link and it opens up design space with that project and all you have to do is click make it that's it it's already sized for you, except for some of the base. I have blank base cards. Kobe, I have blank base cards 
that you can use. Hold on. Um, blank base cards to use for you can add your own projects or your own things. These also, I have the little thing in here where you can change the saying. If you want it, you can put someone's name there. You could do anything you want there, but I have a little piece there that you can weld the letters to. And uh, I have a private video for my supporters that shows you how to do that. All right, guys, if there are any other questions? Oh, Darlene says Everblend markers are refillable and we will offer inks and tips soon. That's amazing. That's awesome. Excited for that. Yes, Kobe is very protective. He's a good watchdog. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Uh, all my supporters already have a link to this project. So uh, have fun with it. Post it with hashtag Melody Lane Inspired all over social media. Every Wednesday, I give away $25 to a project that is hashtagged with Melody Lane Inspired if you used my project. All right, guys. Love you and see you on Thursday. Bye.